From the city known as the murder capital to another ranked as the most miserable city in America. Today on Across the Globe, we're going to look at the 10 worst cities to live in America. Moving somewhere new is a big decision, so whether you're looking for places to avoid or you want to see if your city is on the list, we have you covered. Side note, if you haven't seen our video on the best cities to live in America, that may be worth checking out too. All right, let's get into it. Number 10. Bakersfield, California U.S. News recently ranked Bakersfield the 15th most expensive city to live in America. And while it's ranked more affordable than cities like New York, San Francisco, or Los Angeles, we decided it was a worse place to live because it lacks amenities found in these other cities. In other words, the amount you'd be paying to live in Bakersfield doesn't offset what you'd get out of it. Let's start with the general look of Bakersfield. While some cities have beautiful architecture or an interesting layout, Bakersfield has been ranked one of the ugliest cities in America by both Reddit and BuzzFeed. According to one Reddit user, any hope Bakersfield might have of being considered an attractive city is tainted by all of the oil wells surrounding it. Bakersfield is also notoriously hot, and that's no surprise considering it's in the desert. The average temperature in late July, for instance, is nearly 100 degrees. In addition, while there are kid-friendly activities here, a study from 2020 ranked Bakersfield as the worst city in America for kids to grow up. That's primarily because of the city's high poverty rate and poor public schools, with nearly one out of every four teachers having less than three years of experience. Number 9. Farmington, New Mexico when you think of a great place to live, a big part of that is probably the people, right? You want friendly neighbors who inspire you, who have your back, and who you can just have enjoyable conversations with. Farmington is not the place to find this. In fact, this city of about 45,000 was named the second most unhappy city in America based on data from the U.S. Census. As if that weren't bad enough, Farmington has a terrible track record when it comes to crime, education, and availability of public spaces. A 2018 USA Today report, for instance, called Farmington one of the worst places in America to raise children. That's because of high rates of violent crime, poor access to public spaces like parks and places to exercise, and low rates of high school graduation. In 2018, for instance, Farmington had an average high school graduation rate of 71.8%, which is one of the lowest in the entire country. So, whether you're looking for a place to raise kids or are just seeking out a city with neighbors who will inspire you, Farmington probably isn't it. Number 8. Las Vegas, Nevada Ah, Sin City. While Vegas can be a fun place to visit, we don't advise trying to move here anytime soon. For starters, Las Vegas is a terrible place to move if you're in need of a job. That's because its metro area has the highest unemployment rate out of metro areas nationwide. Recent data from Statista showed that its metro area unemployment rate is at 5.6%. Las Vegas is also incredibly expensive, as it's ranked 18th out of the top most expensive places to live in America by U.S. News. Few available jobs and a high cost of living are definitely not a good combination. Plus, did we mention that Vegas is hot? In the summer, expect to spend tons of money blasting your AC, as average temperatures in July can reach 105 degrees. So. Unless you're just flying in for a quick weekend of fun, we recommend you stay far away from here. Number 7. Detroit, Michigan Detroit just can't seem to catch a break. Once considered one of the richest cities in the entire world, it has since fallen and fallen far. In fact, now this city is considered the poorest city in America, with high unemployment rates and high rates of poverty. Unemployment is currently at 7%, far above the national average of 3.7%, and the poverty rate is also extremely high. Recent estimates say that Detroit's poverty rate is 33%, which is over 150% higher than the average rate of poverty in the entire state of Michigan. Detroit also has elevated rates of violent crime, though property crime is below the national average. 
but that might be because Detroit has tons of abandoned houses and sometimes even entire abandoned neighborhoods, so maybe there's just not that much that's worth breaking into. Finally, Detroit's population is decreasing. That means that more people are leaving the city than moving to it. According to recent census data, the population has decreased over 10% within the last decade or so. That's Detroit's seventh decade straight of population decline. If that's not a sign that this city is probably somewhere you don't want to live, I don't know what is. Number six, Florida, City, Florida. If you've ever searched up lists of the worst cities to live, Florida City has probably come up more than once. That's primarily because it's filled with crime. In fact, Florida City has the most crime out of any city in Florida and is frequently considered the most dangerous place to live in the entire state. This city even has the nickname of the murder capital of Florida. Probably not somewhere you want to move. But even if you can somehow get past all of the crime here, there's probably not much else that would incentivize you to move. Unemployment is higher than the state and national averages, making jobs here difficult to come by. Florida City also ranks low in its public schools, and Niche gave it a D on its housing score, which is determined according to factors like home value to income ratio, median effective property tax, and monthly housing cost to income ratio. So to recap, we've got high crime, high unemployment, bad housing options, and poor public schools. Next time you're browsing Zillow, you might want to eliminate this city from your search. Number 5. McAllen, Texas If you're moving in search of new work opportunities, we already mentioned that Las Vegas and Detroit are pretty bad options, but there's a place that's even worse, and that's McAllen, Texas. This city of about 145,000 was recently ranked one of the worst cities to find a job by several publications, including The Hill and Money Geek. And what Money Geek found was that McAllen rated poorly in terms of overall growth and housing opportunity and was given a 99 out of 100 on job competition. In other words, it's an incredibly competitive city for those seeking a job. Okay, what if you've got remote work lined up and won't be looking for a job locally? Should you still consider moving here? Probably not. In fact, McAllen ranks pretty mediocre across other categories like safety and crime and availability of outdoor activities. It also has a poverty rate that is almost double the national average, so you might want to turn your attention elsewhere. Number 4. Jackson, Mississippi If you're looking to move to a new city, you're probably in search of a place that makes you feel safe. You want to be able to step outside of your house and walk down the street without worrying about being robbed, or worse. In that case, you definitely don't want to move to Jackson, Mississippi. This city of about 150,000 was recently named the second most dangerous city in America by Money Geek. In fact, Jackson was found to have a homicide rate of 99.5 per 100,000 people in 2021. If that's not enough to scare you off, it might also interest you to know that Jackson is considered one of the worst places to raise a family. That's due in large part to its high rates of crime, but also to other factors like poorly ranked public schools and few housing options. And while Jackson may appear more affordable on the surface than some other cities, that doesn't mean much when you consider that the median household income here is only about $39,000. That's almost half of the median household income across the entire United States, which is currently at about $71,000. Number 3. Pine Bluff, Arkansas Remember when we talked about how Farmington, New Mexico is the second most unhappy city in America? I bet you're wondering what number one is, right? Well, if you hadn't already guessed, it's Pine Bluff, Arkansas. This was ranked the most miserable city in America based on U.S. Census data compiled by Business Insider. The list took into account factors like population change, percent of people working, percent of people without health care, number of people living in poverty, and more. The results weren't great. Pine Bluff saw a negative 13.8% change in population growth between 2010 and 2018, meaning more people are leaving than moving here. Other factors also weren't great. 30.4% of residents here live in poverty and the median household income is only about $32,000. 
far below the median across the entire U.S. Okay, maybe you're a hermit and you're not planning on socializing with any of your miserable neighbors. Could it still be an okay place to live? Not quite. Niche gave it a letter grade of a C for outdoor activities and ranked its public schools a D+. In other words, there's not too much that Pine Bluff has going for it. Number 2. St. Louis, Missouri did you know that St. Louis is considered the most dangerous city in America? This might come as a surprise, as I'm sure other cities come to mind when you're picturing the most dangerous places to live. But Money Geek recently ranked it number one on its list of most dangerous places to live based on its high cost of crime per capita. There are several reasons St. Louis might have such a huge amount of crime. One is that this city of about 300,000 has faced a lot of economic struggles as of late. Its population has decreased, for instance, meaning that more people are leaving than coming, which is never a good sign. St. Louis's metro area has also seen slower growth in its GDP than the country's average, indicating that its economy is shrinking. Its public schools are also failing, with half of the entire state of Missouri's worst public schools being in the St. Louis area as of 2019. Number 1. Mendota, California Finally, all of you people who love to hate on California got your wish. If you hadn't heard of this city before, you're not missing much. With a population of about 12,000 and a location in Fresno County, it's about two hours south of San Jose. What we found was that this city ranked number one on multiple lists of worst places to live. And that's due to a few factors. For one, the poverty rate is 49%. That's right, half of the people live here in poverty. For comparison, the national poverty rate across the entire United States is 11.6%. Mendota is over four times that. Part of the reason so many people live in poverty could be because only 1.8% of residents have a bachelor's degree compared to the national percentage of about 32%. So most people work in unskilled jobs. That is, if they can even get a job, unemployment here is high, recently at 15.4%. What about the worst states to live in America? Watch that video right here.